What is up Tuesday? It's what's happening around the shop and today what's happening around the shop is laser two is not cutting through. So it's time for a little bit of spring cleaning. We're gonna wipe down the rails. We're gonna use a magic eraser and some water and some paper towels. We're gonna wipe, wipe down the rails, wipe down the belts. Then we're gonna oil the rails, oil the little wheels that are inside the rails. And then we'll get to cleaning the lenses and, and the mirror. I got a bucket of some soapy water. It's really only filled up to like here. We're just gonna put the magic eraser in there, squeeze it out really well, wipe down all the rails. Ah, spill the water. We're going to remove all the old oil and grime. We're going to hit it with a magic eraser, follow it up with a paper towel. All right, we're gonna go wash our hands and make sure all the grease, oils, and dust are off of our fingers. Then we're gonna come back and clean the mirrors. So, I'm gonna wash my hands. Yeah, Garrett's washing his hands. I've got fresh baby hands. But what you guys don't know is that this place, KNG Workshops, also doubles as a spa. So let's go see what Kim's doing real quick. Hey Kim. How are you? Having a spa day? Looking good. To clean the mirrors, we're going to use this alcohol solution and some Q tips. We're just going to do all three mirrors. All three, huh? All three. Oh, we're going back there. Yeah, we'll go back to the back. It's been a nice. while since we cleaned back there. It's, it's been a minute. Have a gentle touch when you're cleaning the mirrors on your laser because they are super finicky and you don't want to scratch them or have them shift out of position. So how are you going to start with this? I'm going to raise the head all the way up yep. so I can take the spacers out. I'll just pinch it up here. In order for us to get to the lens on our laser, we have to take off the nozzle and we have to take off the entire head. This ruler actually doubles as a like screwdriver. Solution. 
While cleaning it, we noticed we had these little dots all over the lens. We weren't able to get them off, and I think we're gonna need a new lens. Inserting the new lens, we had to make sure that the concave side goes up and then we're going to add the metal washer and then we're going to screw back in the little holder piece, the screw holder. doing here? I'm um, setting the focus height for quarter inch MBF. We marked this little triangle so we know exactly where it is. How many times have you lost that triangle? Oh, every day for like the last three years. <laughs> all right, next we're gonna align all of the mirrors. We're gonna use some packing tape to put over the mirror. We're gonna give it a pulse and we're gonna to check to see where it hit on this packing tape. We're gonna start with the back mirror and then work our way to the lens. So I'll go back there, Tanner. Be sure to use packing tape because I've definitely caught different types of tape on fire. Yes, packing <laughs> tape does not burn and it won't catch on fire. Do not use anything but packing tape. We're gonna bring the power down on this so that we're not blasting a so that we're not gonna blast through the tape and everything. We just wanna bring it down to like 15 or 20%, just enough so it'll get through the tape and we'll be able to see where it, it's actually hitting. It's pretty good on. So we're going to use these little screws back here to adjust it until we hit it in the, in the right place. Quarter turn. I can never remember which way to turn these screws, so I made myself a little cheat sheet. Here it is in the top left. I will leave a link to this down in the description below. But yep, you just keep tweaking those little those little screws about a quarter turn each time, maybe an eighth of a turn, nothing too big. If it gets too far gone, it's hard to, it's hard to bring it back. We're just gonna keep firing it and then keep twisting those screws until we get it dead center. So here we are doing the same process we were doing with the mirrors, but at the um, tip of the laser head. It doesn't move much, but it's always nice to double check. All right, that looks center too. You can see it. All right, everything's looking good and center. We're gonna do a test cut now. 
We're just gonna cut out a circle and a square, see how it goes. circles and they are not big at all. So we'll just draw a little square, draw a little circle, and that should be good. Check our settings, they look right, that's how we cut on this laser, and it should be good. First important step. Oh yeah. Do not forget to set your power back. That's right. Let's not forget to set our power back. All good for our test. All right, nice and clean. Looking a little hot. Whoa! It cut out perfect. Of course it cut out perfect. We cleaned up the rails, we oiled the rails, we cleaned up the lenses, we cleaned up the mirrors. We got a good test cut. We're back in business. Look at that. Came out great. All of our curfing is perfect, so we are good to go. And we are about out of time, so we will see you on Friday where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And we'll replace Tanner with Kim. I'm getting the axe already? Yeah. Mm. All right.